Have you heard the joke about Beethoven? No? Well, neither has he. Welcome to Shaven Butcher for a, a, a shave. <clears throat> and today it's a Wade and Butcher shave. Look at that. Little beauty. I don't know much about this racer except it's it's pretty good and it's pretty pretty. And I got the Wade and Butcher shirt on. So there we go. Um, using a soap for the first time today, I have only I have a sample. <clears throat> a gentleman got in, got in touch on the Swedish Facebook group, and he wanted samples of a few soaps. I had two of them. So uh, Ariana and Evans Asian Plum and uh, Declaration Grooming's Gratio League Square. So I sent those. He's in for a treat, the young man, and he sent me two samples uh, to. Um, to, to say thank you. I, I should hurry up a bit because I just realized I took a sleeping pill uh, some time ago. So <laughs> it's kind of kicking in or it will any minute. Uh, so so if I fall asleep, that is why. No other reason. I got uh, a sample of this. Uh, it looks like that. And I pressed it into a bowl. I'm not going to bowl lather in this lovely Giles shaving bowl made of, well, it's ceramic, um, but I'm, I have to load it somehow, so I'm going to load from, from here with the uh, Grey Dog. First time I use the soap, I typically use a synthetic brush. It's just easier to control somehow. Full Moon Synthetic made by Grey Dog, turned from maple, maple tree out of his backyard. How cool is that? I haven't heard from Grey Dog in a while. He doesn't love me anymore. I just did a head shave with the... <laughs> Why did I use that? I just got the, the leaf pack, but I forgot. And, um, but I, I like this. This shaves incredibly well. Um, with the transparent gel from Sukin, Australia. Gift from Peter Sullivan. Thank you very much. Okay. So the soap is from Italia. It's uh, from Saponeficio Baresino, and it's called Mirto de Sardinia. And Mirto is uh, a fruit and uh, a liqueur. What do you say? You say liqueur, liqueur, liqueur. I don't know what you say. It's a strong. A liqueur is a strong, um, you know, quite, quite, I need more water, quite heavy on the alcohol and fruity or something like that. Fruity, <laughs> what's, what's something like fruity? Vegetably, je ne sais pas. Anyway, you can make a, a liqueur, so a fruity smelling strong spirit out of it. You saw I didn't have much there and let's see how I'm doing loading this. I'm, I'm more, more or less making a kind of lather down here. It's a hard soap. It is triple milled which I'm not quite sure what it means but it, they use machines to make it hard. So I'm wasting a bit. Well maybe I can use this for another Another shave. I'm, I'm quite sure I've got plenty. I really do, didn't want to take too much. But triple milled means it's hard and it lasts forever. I have a Saponeficio Baracino soap which is triple milled and I must have done it's way in the cupboard so I'm not gonna get it. Must have done 40 shaves and you can see it's been used but it's it's like a Martin du Cendre. Okay, so let's concentrate on the scent. This is a new base from, well, I don't know how new it is, but it's a, it's a newer base from the soap from the same maker that I have, which is Stella Alpina. Oh, it's fantastic. Stella Alpina is Edelweiss in Italian, and the scent on that is just fantastic. This, I guess, well, 
I'm not gonna guess. Um, well, I have to, because I didn't, as usual, didn't study the, the scent notes. But I, I guess it relates to the, to the, to the spirit. Spirit, is that it, maybe? Well, liqueur is different, I don't know. Uh, which, I, which I haven't tried. I, m m it's myrtle or merton or something in English. And I don't know what that is. I picture Googled it and it's like a blueberry. It looks like blueberry, actually. So I don't know what that is, but this is quite woody. There is a bit of citrus in it, but there isn't bloody well almost any soap. See, oh, peaky already. Mm. It's a damn good soap base. I can feel that all right. All right and already. So a bit of citrus, I think, as usual, but quite woody. I'm gonna say sandalwood. Sandalwood, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because it's, it's quite a bit like Pro Rosso Red, actually, that I used yesterday. Um, I butchered myself a bit yesterday. I was in a hurry, never shave in a hurry. I was putting up. Um, plasterboard and stuff like that so I, I was working a little bit against the deadline and then we had to get to a, a dinner and I needed to, sh to take a shower and I needed to shave so I decided to to do that <laughs> but I didn't want to run late so I shaved a bit too quickly with the with the artist club, feather artist club racer and Look at that, look at that. And I had weepers all over. And when I shaved too quickly, I cut, I cut the uneven skin in, in the corners of my mouth. And I was bleeding down here after a while. Like, you know, like the Joker. But sandalwood, yeah, for sure. Sandalwood and but it, there is a sweetness in there as well. So a bit of sweet, a bit of sandalwood, and a bit of nice stuff. Very nice. And maybe this fruit, this myrtle, myrton, whatever it's called. I like it. Joel, the gentleman who traded this with me, said his wife says it reminds her her of a luxurious Moroccan hotel and yeah I can I can I can relate to that I've been in some of the very very best and most luxurious hotels in Morocco actually I used to travel there a lot for business and it was all high-flying Casablanca and Marrakesh Um, by the way, and apologize, I apologize if I mess up the pronunciation, but the, cap the, the capital is Rabat, but the biggest city and the business city is Casablanca, and it's called Dar Beida in Arabic, which means White House, which is the same meaning as Casablanca, but Casablanca... Spanish or something. Yeah, great, great, great lather. Very wet, but still dense and still smooth and cool. And yeah, I have another. I picked this one up. Uh, this reminds me of hotels and other stuff in Morocco. This is Arabian Spice from Kells Original out of um, Chicago. Got this from, from John Line. Um, really, really cool scent, and they're they're different. This is the Arabian spice is spicier. It's spicy, and there's a lot of spices down there too. But this one, yeah, yeah. Morocco. Why not? Maybe more Casablanca 
than Marrakesh. Marrakesh is more spicy. Here we go. Let's see if this thing is still sharp. It appears so. It appears so. It's a Saponificio Varesino. Is that, can that be considered a classic soap? I don't know, I don't know how long it's been around. I'll be quiet now so I don't reopen the, the wounds. Cheated a bit. See if it falls off by itself. It does, fantastic. For me, that's a sign of a good lather. Very nice. I don't speak Arabic. <clears throat> wish I did, would be cool. Lots of languages I wish I spoke. Italian. Ah! Oh. Something happened. Please. Something, <laughs> there, there must be blood. Yeah, I see. It's got a bit of a, I forgot. It's very, it's quite pointy. And I dug it into the ear there. It's no good. <laughs> mommy, mommy. There's a guy with Parkinson's disease who just took a sleeping pill. He's shaving with a, a knife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe not the best idea. Nice and sharp though. Nice and sharp and that leather. Oh, sexy, very sexy. And I actually really like the scent. I'm gonna shave with this several times for sure. Cause the, the sample is gonna last me a good, depend, I don't, might be some left here and it, Eight, ten shapes, I'm sure. So, the soaps from Saponificio Aresino can appear a bit pricey. I think 30 euros or so for a soap. I'm not sure, I think so. Which is times from $37. But the amount of, of soap you get in terms of um, shaves, you know, is considerably more than, uh, you know, this. I'm gonna, four times more, maybe. So the cost per shave is lower. Um, I haven't done the math, but I'm quite sure. You know, because you know, I we just use more more soap. I I have this mold that I cut open while head shaving a few times, so that's why I, I like this this thing because it's transparent when you shave, so you can see what you're doing. It's still very nice. Where am I? Yeah, okay, first, first press. I'm trying to get it, stay energized so I don't fall asleep. I still have to walk the dog. Shit, bad idea. Bad idea. Poor time management. Not the first time. Haha, <laughs> look at that, look at that. Beauteous lather. Bit of blood, yeah, it's gonna heal. You don't bleed occasionally when you wet shave. You're not trying hard enough, but this, you know, I'm not gonna mute this. I'm just gonna, the, the, the uh, what do you call it? The, 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 the point, is that it? 
that's what it's called. So I'm not gonna mute it, but I need to be be careful. Ha, nice. My skin is very dry today. Been outdoors quite a bit. I haven't drunken, drank, drunken, drunken enough water. So um, it feels worse. Feels. You know, it's tougher to shave. Don't cut the nose up. There you go. There's a weeper down there. You know, I can feel when the skin is it's okay, you know, it's using all the best products and decent technique to still, you know, if, you, if your skin is dry, it's dry. So I'm gonna get a good shave, but it's, you know, it's not, no irritation really. But I can feel it's dry. Don't cut the ear off. See the blood there? a big meeting tomorrow morning as well so don't want to butcher myself too much well, a little bit you want to look like you've been in a in a in a knife fight just you want to look like you won right like you should see the other guy So Christmas is almost here. Today's the 20th, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Being really careful. And working against the clock at the same time. It's very hard, not very smart. But it'll be okay. This, yeah, this cat is gonna be okay. It's not a big cat. It was more the uh, point dug into the ear a bit. Yeah, no, we've had worse. Really enjoy this soap. I need to smell it more and pay more attention. It's easier to do when you're. Not on the clock. Not shooting a video. But I like it. It's more Italy than Morocco for me, but still nice. Mirto di Sardegna. I should should try that if I'm ever in Italy ever again. If we can ever travel again, I will. Um, I'll keep a lookout for it. See if it's any good. Then again, I don't know if this is intended to smell like the soap. I think not. Or if the soap is intended to smell like the spirit. That will do, that will have to do. Excellent, very good. And we're still awake, so I'm going to go for a little rinse and contemplate what we put on afterwards. Maybe no scent, how about that? Warm 
water rinse, followed by a cold water rinse. Cool, very good. I don't feel a need for, for an alum stone, but I feel we're doing okay. Yeah, no scent, because this, this is quite nice, quite strong. So I'm going for, uh, I'm going for a bit of witch hazel. There you go, a bit of witch magic made by fairs. On the head and on, on the face. And then I'm, I need to hydrate, rehydrate a bit, so quite possibly the best aftershave balm in the world, Singari Man's balm. This one is unscented because I like it. Four squirts, see if that's enough. No, I'm gonna do five. <laughs> what, it's only Monday. Yes, but we're on telly, darling. We're on the telly. What, what accent is that? We're on the telly. Okay, I have, a, I have an idea of what it is. Might not be right. I'll have you guess if you're from England, maybe you can tell. Cool. Um, my hands are gooey and I'm falling asleep and I've got to go walk the dog. And, Sleep and get up and shit. This 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 place is such a mess. I'm gonna have to clean up a bit as well. But um, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Joel, for um, for the for the soap. I like it. I can still smell it. Very nice. Thanks for watching. Um, see you soon. Uh, no no no. Take care and stay sharp.